David, I want to shift gears. We got another weak ISM manufacturing number today. Activity contracting to the weakest level since 2009. Whether it's here or in the in the U.S. or, or whether it's abroad, what is your take on the economy right now? In the U.S., I'll start. Uh, it's still consumer driven, and uh, we are seeing that it's holding up. It may not be as strong an increase as last year, but we still feel pretty good about what we're seeing. Of course, we'd like to see industrial production and manufacturing increase, but the consumer is holding uh, on right now, and we're glad to see that. From an uh, international point of view, there are headwinds, no doubt about it. Growing concern about Brexit and what's going to happen October 31st. And then, of course, U.S. China trade negotiations. There's concerns there, too. So, but uh, when you have a flexible network like we do, we're going to monitor these macroeconomic conditions. And then we have to respond. We have to reduce costs. We have to change our network. We have to move trade flows. So it's a lot of work to do, but we think it's manageable and uh, we keep our eye on it. That's for sure. And, of course, today is the start of the fourth quarter as well, which means that peak season is really kind of just right around the corner. Can you give us a forecast of what you're expecting this holiday season? I can. And, uh, and peak is really basically here right now for us is we're starting to hire and train people and uh, finalize our plans. We do expect a heavy uh, peak driven by by the consumer, driven by e-commerce, going to be an even bigger part of our business this year. That's why we've added a uh, 100,000 employees, or we will, for this peak season. And we've added an additional 400,000 packages an hour of capacity, 5 million square feet. We think that we will have another successful peak as we did last year. But peaks are always challenging. There's no doubt about it.